morning everybody it's 8 25 i'm about 25 minutes into my first meeting of the day and i thought it would be fun for you guys to come along with me on a work from home day all right it's 901 i just wrapped up my team's huddle so the first huddle I, I meeting i was on was for uh my management team um it's me with other managers leads and our boss and then the second one was with my direct reports everybody that reports to me trying to get the day started and now I'm going to eat my breakfast and get to work. I got this email from the head of our HR to read through to see when uh, or if we know when we're going to go back to the office. Anyways, let's see what this what today's like. I've already been interrupted by the kids one time. We'll see how many more times they interrupt me. It's 11.06. I just uh, wrapped up a couple of escalations and doing some stuff with the team and I had to go to the bathroom and Izzy heard me in the bathroom didn't you so she came in here she popped open the door while I'm sitting on the toilet and she said daddy and uh, now what do you want what do you want from me huh? playtime no it's not playtime yet at 12 when I take lunch at 12 we can do it right now daddy needs to go work on a playbook we call them playbooks it's where I essentially outline this script and process for someone when we have to call it customers. Play. We didn't play, play it didn't say play, I said playbook. I have a playbook for dealing with kids and working from home too. Lock the doors, turn up the music really loud. <laughs> All right. Ooh. That was a lot of work. Actually, I'm just kidding. I was just copy and pasting and throwing stuff in PowerPoint. The hard work had already been done. Um, I am now going to lunch because it's 12 o'clock and I always like to take a prompt lunch so I can spend time with my kiddos. So let's go do that. Oh, do three. Three, 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 Air fried. Oh yeah, that's ready. Normally I would eat lunch while I played Uno with the kids and we would do that. And then once I was done with lunch and we were all done with playing Uno, I would go and for another 15, 20 minutes, we would do something outside or we'll play up in the playroom. We'll just do something together. But today, Izzy is having quiet time. The need to settle down and Colton is playing with one of his friends, one of the neighbors who is getting ready to leave for the weekend. And if you're like, wait, you're playing with your neighbors. How could you do that? It's COVID-19, you shouldn't be playing with anyone. It's fine, guys. It's our neighbors. It's not your neighbors. We're not coming to your house, We're playing with our neighbors. We're not seeing anybody else. We have this little group of people that have been seeing each other since the very beginning. We got quarantined together. We're stuck together, and so that's what we're doing. So just settle down. Anyway, the point I was making before I went on that tangent is that I'm having lunch alone today, which is kind of boring. I really wanted to play Uno. I love Uno. I'm super competitive, and Uno is one of those games where there's just enough luck involved that the kids can still beat me. I'm not so incredible at it that, you know, I'm going to win every time if I try. All right, lunch is over. Had a little bit of playtime with the kids. It's never enough, so I'll have to do more of that tonight. And a lot more this weekend. It's gonna be a nice weekend. I'm looking forward to that. Back in the office. There's a nice little view of my desk. Time to get back to work. I forgot to tell you guys, it's one o'clock and I'm back in the office. I'm about to jump on a meeting with my team lead, Jordan, to talk a little bit about a new script we just developed and process for our teams to help upgrade customers who downgraded because of everything going on now. Uh, we need to find those businesses that are ready to go, that are ready to grow. Um, and we've created discounted versions of our full plans to be able to help them do that without it costing too much money while they try to get up and going again. So we're looking at how we can do that. Hello. So if they are on a reduced plan, it would be an AMITC and you'll just work it right there. We want to we want to resolve that while you're on the phone with them if you can. All right, I got to go talk to Izzy and Riker because they came in right in the middle of my meeting. Hey. Hey, that's 
what were you two thinking? <laughs> getting in my meeting, huh? Open. They opened the door. Oh. Riker came in and banged on it, and then Izzy came and opened the door. Oh, they came right into the meeting. I didn't hear that. No, it's oh. fine. It was funny. <laughs> Izzy, did you bring me tea? Uh. She brought me tea twice, and then Riker got all of the oranges that were in the office. And now I need to go get a wipe so I can get the orange off my desk. Izzy, what did you tell mommy about the orange that you crushed in your hand? Crushed. Where did you put that orange? Um, because you know orange stains. In the trash can. Oh, good. In the trash can. Did you really put it in the trash can? Uh-huh. You want another one? No, you can have them back. Oh, thank you. You giving them back to me? Uh. uh no. No. Daddy, this one is a flute. It's a flute? How did she learn about a flute? Where did you learn about a flute, Izzy? I guess all four-year-olds know about flutes now. You guys are silly. All right, well, I'm going to go back to work. See you guys later. I am vlogging. I'm vlogging my work day and how much you interrupt me. Oh, are you going to do all my work for me? <laughs> All right, you working for me, Riker? <sighs> Riker, are you gonna do the, my job for me the rest of the day? Yeah? Okay, thanks, man. I think this is the most exasperated I've been all day. Colton stole my phone so he could trade Pokemon with me. And, and we're trading right now. And then these two have my mouse pad and Izzy told, stole my headset and Riker keeps climbing to my lap and banging on the keyboard and I have to be in a meeting in 14 minutes and before that meeting I have to get two things done that are going to take me about 14 minutes to do so I need you guys to get out of here oh man leave leave the room bye bye Colton can you get your brother and sister out of here please no yeah. leave Leave the room, Riker. Come on. Now. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. We're going, yeah, we're going away. Let's go. Bye. Stop. See you guys Come later. On. Well, right after that uh, outburst with the kids, things got a little crazy at work jumped into, had to get my stuff done, had to jump into a couple meetings, and we had a big company-wide or department-wide meeting with our CEO, CFO, um, our uh, CHO, human resources person, people, CPO, chief people officer. I guess that's what you call your H executive HR person. And um, our head of communication, and, and they were, awesome they didn't have a lot of answers like who has answers right now who knows like no one knows people are asking questions like are you not going to lay anybody off for 90 days will we be working from home for the rest of the year um we don't know anything we know that our customers are paying us right now we're in business everybody's home right now and in two weeks we expect everyone will still be home but after that we don't know so they were talking a little bit about their plan to extend talking about potentially giving money to people um, who are working from home a lot of really cool thoughtful answers where essentially they said, we don't know, but we will look into that. So these Q and A's, I think a lot of people come to these Q and A's expecting answers. And this is just a tip for anybody that works in the corporate world right now. Your leaders don't have all the answers. So you can't go to them for answers, right? You can't go for them to tell you what your future is gonna look like, but you can bring questions to them, highlight things that they may not know about from where they're sitting that can allow them to look to make sure they're taking care of you. And that's what our company is doing. And I'm really proud of. And on a note of that, no one knows the future but God. So if you're not following God, if, if you don't know Jesus, definitely let me know. I'd love, I comment here. Uh, I'd love to have a conversation with you, but I think that's something that you want to look at. You know, look this. It's like he knew I was done for the day. So that is one full day working with me as I work from home. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, smash that like button. That helps so much with the YouTube algorithm. And we're getting like seven or eight views per video. So if we could get a few more, that'd be dope. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you liked what you saw.